uh, in fact, um, journalists are not supposed to become part of the story or uh, or get involved. And um, but there, it happens all the time when you're in a dramatic, fast-changing situation, and uh, you have the choice between taking some notes about a burning house with people in it or jumping in with a bucket of water, you're going to jump in with a bucket of water if you have a heart in you. And so it's impossible to stay completely removed and, uh, and just sit back and jot notes, um, even if that's, that's our job. Um, and you know, in, in Iraq, I became a completely... Um, I had to put down my pen. I, I met a, a guy who uh, needed to get his family out of the country, and um, for weeks I was trying to help him uh, at great risk to uh, himself and partly to me. Uh, and it, I'd gone way beyond the, the the pale of what a journalist should be doing, but um, uh, you just have to be willing to to do that sometimes. Well, this um, particular um, nuclear scientist who had, um, his name was Mehdi Obeidi, and he had run the centrifuge program for Saddam Hussein. And he had the last remaining bits of the program buried in his garden and um, wanted to turn them into the Americans and, and uh, receive safe passage out of Iraq for him and his family. Um, and while that was being negotiated, and I was helping him do that, partly just by having a satellite phone and, and being with him every day, um, we had to be in hiding because if it had become known that he was uh, cooperating with the Americans, he would have been targeted and uh, probably killed. So there was no way I could write his story. And um, it's one of those situations that you uh, kind of don't want as a journalist is to become the, the story. And, 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 um, and, and I was actually sitting on this wonderful, well, it was important story. It was a piece of news. This was the guy who knew what had happened to the nuclear program while the American uh, and international inspectors were roaming around Iraq looking for uh, evidence of, of that program. And, there we knew, I knew, and uh, I was talking to the guy who knew that there was no program and I couldn't print the story. Um, and sometimes you just have to put your, your journalist hat down and uh, take up your human hat.